G'day my friends, Marty we're here from the Marty's Garden Show with an upbeat attitude because I'm going to be making more videos for you guys, yes as I'm studying Screen Media Certificate 4, I'm going to be practicing my videos on you crew out there. Now, what I've got coming up is a series on container gardening. Now, this series will only run if you guys like it and that's what you want to see. If you're happy to keep learning about growing fresh food fast in urban places and small spaces in containers, then this series would be for you. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about which containers to use. And we're going to start right from the beginning and go through to A to Z. But I want to hear from you guys. I want questions. I want answers. I want to know what you want to know. And I want to teach you what you want to know. <laughs> How does that sound? All right, let's go check out some of these containers that I'm using around the garden and on the old micro farm. So I'm up behind the trusty old grow house, which I've been using all summer to grow lots of food in. Now, what I've got for you today is something really exciting. This is the container that I use to grow my lettuce and strawberries in. And I also grow some baby leaf stuff and stuff like this. Now, what's exciting about this is a self-watering container. Now, you can see it's about hand deep. It's only really for shallow rooted plants such as lettuce and strawberries. And inside, which is even more cool, is this little self water container system which sits at the bottom of the pot and it allows a lot of oxygen to flow. Very important to have that oxygen to flow through. It just allows the roots to breathe. It just creates a more of a natural synthesis through the plants and you seem to just get better production and more healthy plants. It also has these little sumps down below which suck up the water and keep the plant moist. Now the reason I love this is because when you go away on weekends and things like that or you don't have time to water, you're too busy, there's still going to be some water up taken into the roots and up into the soil because when you get dry pockets in your pots you got real problems now the next one I want to show you is the trusty microgreens tray now probably a lot of you have been hanging out to see this yes here it is it's just one of these ones that I buy from the co-op and it's the same one that the companies use to raise their seedlings in they, the trays fit in perfect and it's only as you can see less than a finger deep and underneath I have my tray that I water in. So I water from below and put my mix in the top and grow out of this. Now if you saw my last video about companion planting with tomatoes, that plant's growing out of one of these. Who would have thought, huh? Now here's the big bad bubber of them all. Check this out. Whoa. I don't know how many litres this is. I think maybe about 35. You buy those big bags of of our potting mix and it fills up pretty much one of those and inside also I'll bring it out I'll get it out for you if I can she's a bit tight actually I'll just show it to you like this you can see the grid inside it's got exactly the same type of grid system as you saw in the smaller one but it holds a lot more water now I use that for growing things such as tomatoes and larger plants you know chilies and capsicums and eggplants uh, you could even grow corn and things like that in there if you're using a really good quality potting mix. So this guy can go outside or can go on the veranda, wherever you want to put it. It does get quite heavy though, so if you're not as strong and you want to move it around, get some wheels. You can buy those little stands with wheels and wheel it around to wherever you want it to go. Alright, let's go and have a look at some other containers that I'm using around the place, such as some recycled things and some odds and ends to give you some more tips and tricks along the way about which containers to use for your garden this grow season.
So I've pulled out a sorrel here, and this is what I call almost into the mature stage. I've been growing it on since a microgreen. Now you can see these tiny little leaves here. They're beautiful to pick off in salads, and the bigger ones are awesome in stir fries. And I've got it growing in this little container that I've just recycled on from getting from one of the nurseries. And as you can see, it's about yay big and about yay high. Now I'll give you a look at ones that I prefer if I can get hold of them. These are all recycled containers and you can see that this one's growing a little bit better because it's in a deeper pot and you can see the roots hanging down here. Now it's growing in this big plastic container that holds a lot of water. Sorrel loves a good drink and I fill it up, believe it or not, about yay high and then I put my little compost pods in there that I make from the worm castings and the minerals inside. Just drop it in with a little tea bag and Look at this, look, there's so much I can harvest here. Uh, I can come along and just snip that off and use that in so many ways and just grab the little ones for the salad. So I can cook my main meal with the top part and throw those little leaves into my salad mixes. Now, this is a great container and these are found everywhere, at nurseries all over the place. And you can pick them up secondhand, even at secondhand shops. I'll give you a little tip, I picked up some at a hardware store that sells second-hand hardware. Sometimes they have containers there, guys, for about five cents. Now, I've got some papaya growing in here, and these are the red variety, and they're growing in a long, deep pot, a long one. Now, they're longer than my hand high, about one and a half hands high, and as you can see, they're quite thick now. They're thicker than my finger. And they're pretty much ready to go in the ground or into another container. But it is coming into a cooler period, so these guys are going to slow up. So I'm not going to move them on until at least next spring now. But you can see some little roots starting to appear here. Now, if I do move them into the greenhouse, and it gets quite hot in the grow house, I mean, uh, I may repot them up. But when you're growing things such as tomatoes and bigger plants, these long, deep ones are an excellent container for getting things started, such as small fruit trees and tomatoes, and getting a big root system in them before you plant them out into the garden. So what do you think of that, my friends? There is so much you can do with containers, and we're going to learn it along the way, but I want to hear from you guys as well about what you want to learn and what you want to see, because I'm going to try and start it right from the beginning and go right through and teach you how to grow really fresh food, tasty fresh food, fast in urban places and small spaces. And I need to hear from you guys, so you want to keep watching and keep on sending those comments and questions down below and I will get to them and I will answer you. No doubt about that, I always do. Happy gardening and we'll see you in the next video real soon. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do already. And click on the video up here because there's always more great content to see if you've missed it already. Bye for now.